Prior to HTML5, the standard was XHTML, which was the first to offer strict semantic markup and focus on separating presentation from structure. This is the visual styling from the structural tags. Thanks to the introduction of HTML5, we now have a new and more meaningful way to structure our pages. But before we get into creating code, let's break down the initialism of HTML. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. HTML is not a programming language. It's a markup language for creating web pages. It is the building block of the web. Hypertext is any text that can be displayed on a computer screen that contains links to other documents. The web is simply a collection of billions of documents interconnected by hyperlinks. A markup language provides meaning to the text in a document using instructions that describe how text should be structured, formatted, and laid out. So HTML is the markup language that browsers use to present information to users things like text, links, images, and videos. It's the basic component from which all websites and applications on the web are built. Let's quickly review how HTML works, what it looks like, and why we use it to structure content on the web. If you've ever worked with a word processing program, like Microsoft Word or Google Docs, then you've likely formatted blocks of plain text by creating a title for the document and headings to indicate the start of important sections of content. Also, adjusting the size of the text and changing the formatting, like making something bold so that it stands out from other text on the page. You may have inserted links to other documents or web pages, or even inserted line breaks, spaces, and horizontal lines to divide and break up sections of content. In other words, you have used the program's formatting options to give the document a clear structure. HTML provides similar text formatting instructions to browsers in the form of tags called markup. So just like Word or Google document, with no formatting, our page is going to look something like this. This is the exact same page as this, but it just lacks any sort of formatting. This page is displaying the exact same content in the browser using markup. Notice that the text on the page is easier to scan and easier to understand. It also provides links so that we could navigate to other pages and additional content. If I right or control click on the page and choose to view page source, I'm able to actually see the HTML that the browser uses to display the web page we were just looking at. Now, if we look at the sets of tags that surround the content, we are seeing the markup that's responsible for displaying the page in the way that the browser displays it. And notice that even though these tags are meant as instructions for the browser, they are named using friendly, human readable words like head, title, body, nav, header, and even more. HTML is a very simple language and it's made up of things called tags. And to understand how this works, bear with me for just a minute while I give you this metaphor. Let's say I give you a present. It's a fishbowl. Inside the fishbowl, we have water and within the water, there's a fish. So if we were to create this with markup, we need to unpack it first. First, we have the box. We open our box tag, but it can't go on infinitely. It has to end, so we give it an ending tag. Then we have the fishbowl. Once again, the bowl doesn't go on infinitely, so we open the bowl tag, and then we close the bowl tag. Inside the bowl, we have our water. So again, I'm going to start the water and end the water. And then inside the water, I'm going to place the fish. And the fish also is going to start and end. You can see that each of the tags is surrounded by these angle brackets. That's what indicates what part of the text is actually a tag. The opening tags are just going to be surrounded by the angle brackets. But the closing tags will have a forward slash within the first opening angle bracket. 
this is an indication that this is the closing portion of the tag. Now it is worth noting that these aren't real tags. I just made these up. I wanted to show you this so you would understand how tags work. We have a specified number of tags that we can use with HTML. HTML is understood by all browsers, on desktops, to tablets, to phones. That's why every website and app that you use is made using HTML. It's the language of the web, and I'm going to teach you how to understand and write it in the upcoming lectures. By the end of the next few weeks, you will have learned the skills to create the HTML structure of a simple website about sea life. As I mentioned before, HTML is just part of what makes a website. After we learn about HTML, we'll be able to add some CSS. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. CSS is going to transform the structure of our page into something beautiful like this. We can actually make our page even more dynamic by adding JavaScript and incorporating something like this. As you can see, I now have a little slideshow that changes the image that appears in the middle of my page. This is adding a little bit of dynamic content. Needless to say, we have a lot to cover. There are a lot of things that I'll be showing you so that we can go from here to here. So let's dive into HTML and learn about these tags so that we can start our journey of learning how to develop websites.